here. Jeff! I don't think he can quite hear you. Ah! Oh! oh! They're not finished yet. Don't fight it. Will only hurt more if you do. Okay, here we are. We are back for another series on the channel. What's good, everyone? Welcome back to another video for today. And we have a brand new installment of the Dark Pictures Anthology, The Devil in Me. So, I mean, the devil's not in me. The devil's, the game is called The Devil, The Devil in Me, not, not me. So, um, if you guys haven't noticed lately on the channel, I've been playing all the different chapters in the Dark Pictures Anthology Season 1. We played Little Hope. We played House of Ashes. Man of Madon, I still gotta knock that out. I'll, I'll get that done really soon. But this is going to be the final chapter in Season 1 of the Dark Pictures Anthology. So I'm really excited for this game. And it's really, you know, com com culmination. I'm trying to get the word out of all the super massive games we've played. Because that also doesn't include the quarry. That also doesn't include the classic known as Until Dawn. So we're doing a good job of keeping up with this series, keeping up with all these games, and I'm glad that I'm gonna be able to, play, be able to play this one with you guys today on launch day. So with that being said, grab your popcorn, grab your snacks, and let's get right back to another series and another video. Let's go. Okay, all right, you guys. Here we go, here we go. I'm excited, I'm excited. All right, wait, wait, wait. No, I'm, I'm gonna make sure subtitles are on in a second, but yeah, this is it, y'all. This is the last chapter. Every choice has a consequence, as we know, as we've seen, because I've made some mistakes, so I'm gonna do my best not to, not to make mistakes this time. Some decisions save lives, others take lives. Mm lead to death okay there's the crow Leo, we've seen the curator feet, Jeff. Can you, imagine it? you know what this kind of reminds I'm me of guys to. um i bet you can see for a hundred miles at the top we should make that our first priority sorry i'm gonna make sure subtitles are on before we immerse too much this is really exciting though i i think one thing i'll give super massive is this is the um, American horror story. That's what I was going to say. This is the American horror story of gaming. Like, they really have nailed that, where every year it's like we all come back and we're excited to see what they have next for us. Same actors, same characters, but just a different um, story. Whatever pleases so, you the most. You with that, I'm, I'm done talking after that. Let's get into the game. You mean you are not weary of me after an entire day of marriage? I will never be weary of you. I shall hold you to that, my dear. <laughs> I think we've arrived. Okay, so we got some newlyweds. I'm assuming this is a a prelude, as always. Isn't this grand? As advertised. Very nice. Let's check in. Are we the only ones here? I'm sure that was a mad dash first thing this morning to get to the fair. Mm. Could you imagine back in the day, like picking a hotel without the internet? Try again? Like, you really don't know what to expect until you get there. Even with the internet, you still have no clue what to expect. Like, well, okay. this does not bode well for the level of service Skeletons we're in, store in the for. closet. Everyone must be busy elsewhere. That's no way to run a business. Slow service. That means they're making sure everything is perfect. That's my Marie. Always finding that silver lining. 
my sincere apologies. Oh. They are such a happy couple. Well, they do sound like newlyweds, so. My attention was needed elsewhere. I promise from here on out it will be nothing but silver. He is miners. so happy. Do you see the husband? Welcome <laughs> Big old smile on to his the face. World's Fair Hotel. Please sign in here. First time in Chicago. I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the exposition. The fair, yes, but that's not all. Today is a very special day for us. Oh, the honeymoon. How very, okay, very so yeah, lovely. Okay, so yeah, newlyweds. <clears throat> Perhaps my wife, Mrs. Whitman, would like to sign. <sighs> yes, today's the beginning of our honeymoon. Congratulations. In that case... An upgrade is in order. A honeymoon suite it is. Oh, well, uh, are the rates that much higher? <laughs> I think nothing of it. The same rates as your regular room. Okay, W the service. The upgrade is on us. You're our first honeymooners. How kind. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Henry Howard Holmes. You have a lovely hotel, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you very much. I designed and built most of it myself. You're an architect, then? Architect, designer, builder, doctor, artist. I'm a man of many interests. It's an interesting man in the world. Impressive. Despite Please, the creepy undertones. We have sundries and gifts at the pharmacy counter. I'll take your luggage up to your room and ensure that everything is in order. Just make a note if you decide to purchase anything, and we will add it to your bill. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. We appreciate it. The pleasure is all mine. I mean, like, obviously being the person playing the game i know somebody here is up to no good um just because of the undertones but it goes back to that theory like you never know you could be speaking to a killer this dude could be an absolute killer murdering everyone that comes into this hotel and they would never know because they're just gonna first impression they're just gonna assume all right now, that's just how this guy what is what did i forget to bring you know It's 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 new though for this, um, and that's another thing I got to give this series credit for. I think no two games have been, you know, close in story or what possibly could be happening next. Marie purchased the tin of powder. Okay, I'm not sure if I had a choice there, but oh, pardon me, miss. Careful, you. My husband he is gets so... awfully cross with men who act fresh. Hmm. He sounds like a ripe fellow. How's the marriage going? Uh, okay, a little bit Thanks of role play. Asking. Okay. Well, let's just head up. I'm sure the room is ready. See anything good over there at the jewelry counter? Anything fancy? Wouldn't you like to know? So I remember her. She was she was the girlfriend in Man of Madan. So that's another cool thing is they they refresh the series by using the same actors. V once again, very much reminds me of uh, American Horror Story. Wonder what's in here. I'm starting to think I've gone and married a thrill seeker. Ferris wheels, forbidden rooms. Are we looking for excitement? Perhaps. <sighs> okay. None of your business, but all right, let's Nothing do it. Nothing but an unfinished room. See what happens when you chase a thrill? If this is you trying to get out of the Ferris wheel. I know you won't be denied. Wait, what's that? <gasps> Don't move. 
Oh, uh, here we go. Oh my gosh, this is giving me PTSD. Over here. They just can't find him. No! 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 We're the only people here. Like, he knows we're in here, dude. That was a thrill. You won't think it's thrilling if we're sleeping on the street after getting kicked out of here. Dude, you're the one that kicked Let's in the go. door, bro. Like, he knows we were in there, Welcome, clearly. Welcome, newlyweds, to the honeymoon suite. Thank you kindly, Mr. Holmes. Do enjoy your stay. If you'll excuse me, I have work to return to. I'm this... sure we'll see each other again soon. Yeah, he's giving big I'm the killer vibes. Like, I don't know if that's his <laughs> intention, but... Goodness, this place is fit He's for definitely a doing king. that for us as the player. Or my queen. Oh, you. Kiss this. Have, have we even gotten that their is names? not very wifely of you. Hey! Ah, bullseye! You asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> Should I be frightened? If you're smart. <laughs> I can tell you right now, this is not the type of tussling the husband was trying to do when he got back to the room. Yeah, right on your head top. Mercy, mercy. Okay, you win. Anything broken? Only my pride. How about a peace offering? Hmm. This feels like some sort of treacherous plot. Not at all. I have a gift for you. Close your eyes and face the mirror. Aren't you clever and romantic? If I get a pillow to the face, I will sock you right in the kisser. <laughs> Is there a problem? No. Okay, okay, okay. W Open Riz. W Riz. Good move. Oh, Jeff, it's lovely. Okay, Jeff. Good move, Jeff. Good. Victory is mine. I'll let you have that bath now. Is that a camera? Oh, it's a not a camera. I mean, that's a peephole. That's a okay. So he he upgraded he he upgraded the room just to. That's what I figured too. jammed shut maybe if we put a little weight into it they are just breaking down everything in this hotel like bro Open if you don't go get the <laughs> get the you. owner be Why like yo bro you your door is broken I take a quick bath then we can reconvene I know that word it's French for something illicit <laughs> shush shave I think I forgot to pack my razor and kit I'm sure the pharmacy downstairs has them. Don't be too long in that bath. Don't you worry.
So I will say, I know, I know this is game's gonna pick up, because one thing I'll say about Dark Pictures versus like The Quarry, they don't waste any time. And I know we're still in the prelude now, but something I've noticed compared to House of Ashes, the interactions seem, feel, they feel a little cut and paste. I'm not gonna lie, everything feels a little cut and paste. Like there's these not. like hop skips. I don't know if you guys have noticed, not to, well, I, I mean, I am critiquing it early in, but it's just odd that last year's game, you didn't notice it. It was very smooth in the cutscenes, very mm. cinematic I to this one. This was the way we came up. Where it doesn't, um, doesn't seem as, you know, smooth. What? Oh! oh. Marie, okay. But it could have to do a lot with how the game is played. Maybe you can do a two player for the prelude where one person's controlling Jeff and the other is Marie. Um, that could be why it's, it, it's sinking that way. Oh, the powder. I never should have used this. Okay, so everything in this game is, is after us, pretty much. Did you guys see the curator there? Hmm. She didn't even touch the water before she got in. The devil is in her. Jeff, you're not going to ask who's there? Is that you, darling? Jeff? Oh, are we playing another game? Bro, if you don't go get active, put a towel on. You can't sneak up on me, Mr. <gasps> oh, oh, we knew it was him, but golly. Hello, my what are dear. you doing in here? Jeff? I don't think he can quite hear you. <laughs> oh! Get away from me! I'm not finished yet. I said get. Don't fight it. We'll only hurt more if you do. So she died because I investigated? What? What are you? What have you done? Jeff, get Calm active, yourself, bro. Sir. I've seen your wife has had an accident. Is there a problem, sir? In a situation like that, why would anyone relax, though? <laughs> Something's telling me she would have died anyways. But damn, Jeff, you just gonna leave your wife, bro? Your dying wife in the tub? Oh, this is just a house of horrors. Oh, she's still alive. Barely, but she's still alive. Marie. Oh, it's Marie. poison gas. You're wasting your last death. Tell him that you love him. <laughs> I'm 
I'm sorry. Yeah, I got to check the bearings. Marie. So Jeff ran from Holmes leaving Marie. See, I didn't get to choose, though. This is kind of weird because these bearings are changing. I didn't get a choice in what Jeff did. <coughs> like, what, what, what did I do to influence that? <coughs> bled to death jeff so that seems i don't know yeah this is this one's a little it did say in the beginning though that your choices so i guess my choices impact other people's lives so maybe it was a choice that i made i feel like i only had like three choices choice that i could have made everything. there so everything in its place wow look at this oh it's wonderful the best for you, my dear. Mother would simply die. It's so I say, opulent. good man, do you work here? Hello. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Okay, so he just rinses and repeats. He oh, built a house of horrors and he just oh, brings them in and traps them. So I'm assuming that oh, we're going to be a few years in the future. All right, so we're going to skip over this part. See you in a minute. Hey, there he is. There's the man himself, the curator. Oh, you're here. Have you been waiting long? Yeah, you took forever. Welcome bro. to my repository, a vast collection of stories that are dark. Frightening, horrific. I am the curator. It's so good to have company. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here, watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This is a story about those who create and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure. Art can elicit all sorts of reactions, delight, inspiration, desire, yes, but also doubt, fear, dread. The way you react, the decisions you make, will affect this story. Hidden in the world, you'll find dark pictures. They give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices. And sometimes it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. I can't interfere. That's very much against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any significant events oh ever seen one of these they're very old people used to call them obbles they'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman look out for them you'll find them in the strangest places I'll be happy to exchange any that you find and I'll certainly make it worth your while well, shall we start? The game is afoot. I will be watching. Okay, good explanation. So it looks like they added kind of in that... My name is Kate Wilder. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist. And we saw that in the quarry. You the little things that you can give the narrator. Uh, 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 and... Uh, and yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. <laughs> I'm not sure I've got issues to deal with, same as everyone. I I'm working on it. I. Hey, I'm Mark. I study photography. Oh, uh, okay, Mark. Um, at a great time. Really want to get back to some serious photography. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a job. 
I've known a key grip in lighting test for uh, years. What's up, Fliss? Be a problem. Light it. You don't often meet someone like that. Man, how do you even start? I'm sick of being on my own. Sorry, do you start with qualifications or, um, like personal info? Because I don't, I mean, will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonitz, UK originally. I've uh, been here for 20 years. The last series was so on track, it was, uh, it was a very beautifully conceived and, um, didn't quite, uh, uh hit the mark as I was hoping it would. It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. I think we've heard quite enough. Enough? <laughs> oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. You don't seem to understand. I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Bury me deep, Your Honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else. And cover the ground with more cement. Cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. Golly, bro. On May 7th, 1896, Herman Mudgett, a.k.a. Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes, until finally the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders, but his investigators Golly. sifted through the traces he left behind following his path from city to city the number grew significantly nearly 200 lives wow oh my god america's first serial killer and possibly the worst he had time he was buried as requested under concrete was he hoping to hide from god's judgment or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again That was kind of fire Sir. how they did that. What do you think? To be honest, Charlie, this is a pilot. Hold that thought. Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking. Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. Everything's moving I'm like... I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. <clears throat> Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh... I just... I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much. But my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m. Be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days' shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this conversation is dead in the water. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes, of course. We're in. I'll get from there. I promise. Let's do it. Mr. Dumet send you. I we... bet you it's this dude. I bet you Mr. Right. Dumet is... Let's load up, guys. Uh, I like got a it. reincarnation I'm good. of Holmes. <clears throat> Sorry. Are you? It I'm definitely gonna... sounded this like him. That ring light that makes it glow glowy. Can you leave it behind us? Right. You're right. This is going to be grand. People, adventure, <laughs> excitement. Anyone? Road trip. Huzzah! Woohoo! Hooray! This is gonna be great, guys. So do we know where we're going exactly? 
You don't like surprises? You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka? Exactly. Me, no money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of come Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault. Because you fly by the seat of your ass. So, come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich, he's a recluse, he's obsessed with H.H. H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this? Just trust me. In other Sorry, words, no, he mystery. did it. He has no Before clue who this guy further, is. I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. Nope. Let While me out the car. This sounds strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home. I cannot allow any personal devices that Was may share information that can affect you know about my this? business or lifestyle. There are rules. All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I okay. require privacy okay. and discretion. I must insist. This place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do it. This one probably has the most cliche setup out of all the other ones. But I do like it. I feel like I'm walking into a Saw movie. I feel like I'm I now feel like I'm walking into a Saw movie, which makes me excited for this. Because at first I was like, everything feels so cliche. Like, why would you put your phone in there? But now that I'm I'm in my head, I'm like, matter of fact, don't fight it. Just immerse into it. And it it's it's like, okay, okay. As much as I would not be the person to put my phone in there, if this dude we is got serious, a story to tell. Service or something? And I'm listening. This guy gonna help? <laughs> <clears throat> no, really. I got it. Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it, jackass. Yeah, my, I guess my only my only thing so far is that this one. Okay. The voice acting so and the characters it just isn't as crisp as, the as House of Ashes was. Not with all the mist and fog. It feels like a step back yeah. to Little Hope. On high, we'll get a better but the atmosphere is really, That's really dope. Certainly um, up there. The, the visuals will be great. We can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, this is crazy. Uh, we'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Come on. Exactly. The dude just takes our phones, puts them in the back of his car in a safe, and then drives off. Like, approach a wall near, near the collapse. Okay. Still getting some tutorial features going here. <laughs> Like, no one's here to greet us, and we don't have our phones. But what I was going to say hey, earlier, guys, um, hurry up. We're on it. the little, the, the thing the curator mentioned, those little totems that are given as a fairy to those who died, they remind me of the tarot cards in the quarry, where when you bring those back, he said he'll help you out in some way. So I'm wondering if that's Jesus, that a new mechanic they added that they took away. from the quarry. Well, yeah, I know that in theory, but... Oh, so much for plan A. We must be able to work our way around. Come on. These Anything cliffs are shot, subject right? to erosion and may collapse into deep Doesn't water without serious. warning. The warning about everything falling into the ocean. I'm gonna say we trusted him not die. Nah, this sign is something the lawyers made them put up. I'm sure it's fine. What I'm gonna do here is, um, I've noticed through, through this playthrough, I'm, this is me speaking to you guys from my editing screen. I'm gonna go ahead and skip over a lot of these parts early in the game. It's a lot of just the characters walking around, them giving us tutorials. Um, hopefully I don't miss anything important when I'm skipping over these parts, but I think it will help us get to the more important and more immersive part of the story. That way you guys, um, you know, don't get bored 
waiting for the story to start to pick up. Um, thanks. Just a little breaking and entering. How are you not in jail? Christ, what the hell is that? To meet you too. or something. Okay, so this is very like this one is a lot more. You got to make the right choices and be in the right place than the other one was. The other one kind of puts you where you needed to be and based off what you do. Okay, we got our first premonition: a boat exploding. Just need some fresh sheets, some nice drapes, and six gallons of sanitizer. Somebody did this. Charlie, this... I'm getting an uneasy feeling about this. Yeah. Somebody has think... a taxidermy hobby. Relax. <laughs> Some hobby. And they're still what working. What God's name is this? Ah! It moved. What? The thing. It moved. Somebody else is in here with us. This White House is, is starting to feel not so abandoned. It's gonna be okay, it's all gonna be okay. Look at this, it's perfect. Come on. Get shooting. I want you to pan across the lake until the island comes into shot. Then zoom into that lighthouse. Look, it's all right. Come on, we better get back. So the game just had us do all of that. Him? I don't know. We just had the one call. How, how did he know what our show was about in the first place? Uh, how do we even know who he is? Actually, I didn't ask. That's weird. Let's just play nice, okay? Hello, Mr. Lonnet. That's me. I'm Grantham Dumet. Everyone climb aboard and we'll head out. This is Mark. W Mark, actor. Erin, Jamie. Ladies. And this is Kate. this guy. He was Nick. Nice to meet you, Mr. Um, Dumet. In House of Ashes. I'm looking forward to seeing him. all it Nick, is you have to offer. And he was in we Man of Medan. We truly Madonna. appreciate this. Lovely to meet you all. What say we get underway? Again, I really can't thank you enough for this opportunity. No, no, he wasn't Nick. Of he course. was in the. He was in was Man of Medan. Great uncle, you said that. Um, Let's get to where we're going. I don't think so. I'll explain looks everything like him, later. Sure, of course. It's the diversity, though, that he's shown in each game, like, I don't think he was in Little Hope, though, but he's been a completely different character in each game. It's the goatee that's throwing me off, though. The goatee is definitely throwing me off.
Yeah, this game so far, it's having its moments. It's just when they start doing things like when we were climbing the hill, like those, like the walking around is slowing the game down a little bit too much for me right now. Um, so I'm hoping it just picks up and it gets right into the... Like, I hope we're not like walking around looking for stuff the whole game. Like it's starting to turn, it's turning into let's get up Walking to the Dead hotel. Season 1. Please, let's stay close, stick together. Is it dangerous here? No, of course not. You sure? Because you don't seem sure. It's perfectly safe, but we are a long ways from help if somebody gets hurt. So please, take care. Looks like things have buttoned up tight around here. God. This way. Don't worry about your bags. I'll make sure they're brought. I was just about to say, I want to see her trait. So she doesn't like Jamie. She's cool with Aaron. Cool with Charlie. Okay with Mark. So she's bold. I don't even know what that E word means. Ambitious, anxious, defensive, insecure. Okay. Want to get to know our characters. Slow, deep breaths, Charles. Try not to cough up a diseased lung. I'll be fine. Just pretend there's a carton of smokes at the top of the hill. You're right. He takes his security very seriously. I wonder what he's afraid will get in. Maybe you should be asking what he's trying not to let out. Jamie. Just saying. So you watch too many horror movies. He values his privacy. We've known that right from the start. We've known that for about two hours. Just go. Mark, get your camera. I want to grab a quick intro from here. I need some shots leading up to the house. Don't need the whole journey. Kate, talking to camera, then I'll direct you from there, okay? No photos. No recording of me at all. Is that clear? I'm... Oh, so a this very is him. private person. Don't worry, Mr. Dimrat. Discretion is Lona Entertainment's motto. You want the usual intro stuff, Charlie? Please. The light is good. I'm ready to go, Aaron. It sounds clear. Okay, let's go for a take then. Is Kate's face ready? Bitch, I'm always camera ready. Stop uh. trying to make me like you. Rolling. Speed. And action. I've just arrived on the private island which claims to have genuine artifacts from H.H. H. Holmes' reign of terror. I'm heading to the house right now. Perfect, Kate. Now turn to face the house and start to walk. Okay, that's enough. And cut. We really do need to get going. Anything you say, Mr. Dumas? This way. It's like he wants us here to do our job, but at the same time, he's not letting us do the job. Mr. Dumet is being really restrictive. I noticed. I want you to go look around without him knowing. Matt is entitled to his privacy. He's cagey. I want to know what he's trying to hide. What do you want to do? What you did that time with those cops in Glendale. Seriously? Ah! Oh, oh, oh my! Damn it! What happened? You okay? They ain't oh, shit. They really again? aren't. <laughs> we should get her up to the hotel. Oh my! I can barely move it. Jamie, stay with her. Why me? Because you know first aid. Remember how you patched her up? In Glendale? Oh, right. Okay. We'll find some ice and a bandage and come back. You have that at the hotel? Yes, sure. Then let's go. What is going on? Come on. I'll clue you in later. So she you must be the new girl. Classes again? Yeah, yeah. What's Charlie want? A better lay of the land. And we're the scouts because... I'm charming, and you can hotwire your way past security. Come on. Well, there was another. Why didn't she mention the fact that she saw another guy walking around? It's not like we have cameras or anything, so how, how useful is breaking away from the group?
Like, this is rule hey, number one in the board. Don't split up get a unless you're answer. scooby the you know, gang. You know, you're making a smart-ass reply or taking a shot at me. That works both ways. Fine. Look, tell me the truth. Is there any saving this show? Maybe. If there's some sort of magical... Holy grail of footage or information to be had here. You think that's likely? No. At best, we'll get some nice B-roll. That's not gonna save our asses. The dude is gonna flip out when we're like already at the top of the hill at the hotel because we decided to do a side quest for absolutely no reason. What's through here? Hear that? Hello. Remember who you this are? This happened, so did he see us? But I definitely hid. Heal all the heal. A woman got into difficulty on the island and broke her heel. Heel matches the stiletto. So much better. I did all of that? I guess I just, just to... needed to rest it for a minute. I think I'm okay. Found a shortcut up the hill. I really need you to stay where I say. You got it, Mr. Dumet. We're all here now. Let's head on. Everyone, stay under the watchful eye of Mr. Dumet, please. Now that was probably on me. There was probably more clues Kate. that I could have found on the climb up, but what do you think? A summer camp from hell. Whatever. We're gonna find out what's up his sleeve before too long. Don't worry about that. Yeah, he's gonna try and kill us all. Coming or what? Uh huh. You afraid of heights? Maybe. Yes. Oh shit! We're all gonna die! Just go. <laughs> oh my god, relax, Mark. Ooh, that serious drop. You good? Oh, man. Want a piggyback ride? Don't be an asshole. Okay, sorry. Remember what your therapist friend said? Wait, oh, no, he did not just bring my therapy into it. Mark, Charlie, I think they said one of them had a thing for that Mark. That belittling your neuroses is not an effective strategy to help you overcome them. I know. I'm saying I'm sorry. Thank you. Here, give me your hand. That's it. Look, it's fine. Don't look down. Yeah. <laughs> See? Not so bad.
Thank you. You always knew how to get me through the shit, didn't you? We should catch up to Mr. Dumet. Did she have a ring on? I think she just had a. I think she has a ring Where on. Where is it. everyone? Apologies. Uh, they're Maybe all they used to be a couple. Come on, let's go. We're losing the day, people. Wow, Mr. Dumas, this place is magnificent. Yeah. Maybe this won't be a waste of a weekend. Hello. Wonder who you are. What are you doing? The crew met. Kate saw the girl in the window of the hotel. A lot of these bearings I, feel... I saw a little girl. Up there. Like I'm not even causing them to change. Maybe if you're one fan. And now she's lost forever. You are such a dick. Everything in here is fragile. Please be careful. Okay, so 40 minutes of climbing it's later, you've amazing. made it. This is intense. Would you all mind signing in at the desk, please? Uh, this isn't everything. I'm sure the rest is almost here. I I'll make sure it gets to your rooms. Kate's makeup case is slowing it down. Erin, cigarettes. Blue backpack. Settle in, and I'll meet you all at dinner. At eight. Mr. Dumet, I cannot say thank you enough times. This is truly fantastic. I told you all this was a good plan, didn't I? <laughs> I told you. I still wonder, one, who's in the trench coat and if they saw me. Because the guy that's giving us a tour, I feel like the little girl that was in the window was his daughter, probably. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. This is my daughter. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. You're jumpy. Oh my god. I think I peed a little. How did you not hear me coming? I was... I don't think we're the only ones here. Kate saw a little girl looking out a window at us when we were outside. That's who I saw, a little girl. Mr. Demet probably has family, his staff, maybe friends. Who knows? That said, this place does give me the willies. It's, um, it's unique. Are you singing? Oh, yeah, that's my being scared song. This is my don't be scared song. Say she is too I big for that. Long. <laughs> She's too big for that. Doesn't really work. I bet. Uh, yeah. 181. Uh, I think I'm around the corner. 183? This is me. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is a hotel. Okay, I keep forgetting okay. it's not just like someone's house. Good luck house. out there. Don't get lost. Scream if you need me for anything. 
Thanks. I got you. Nothing to be scared of. Actually, hey. Yeah? Why don't you hang a second while I unpack, then I can help you find your room? Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Good call. Yes, thanks. I'd end up lost, probably. See how the bearings the change hall, and dude. I haven't made any decisions? Jamie invited Aaron into her room. Like, I... Young love? Okay, so Jamie has a thing for Aaron. Okay. Maybe that's what I saw earlier. And here we are. Well, it's, um... Cozy? Mm, cozy is fun. If we have to double up like last time, we've married by morning. You talk in your sleep. Not sure I ever told you that. Sure? What did I say? Actually, it was just a bunch of incoherent swearing. Oh, golly. I was awake. I was reading Kate's social media post. Ugh, that shit. Okay, don't hate me, but she's been kind of nice to me. I mean, I think she's more upset about Mark than she lets on. Lies. She's a robot. Okay, so Kate and Mark uh, were a where's thing. where's the bathroom? Wait, what? They may not be. Old they school. may be on and uh, off. It gross like. school. What if I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I gonna walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Huh? Shows where you know. What is that? Wine, genius. Oh, I feel like if we start drinking, Charlie will find out and lecture me and make me feel like an asshole again. Yeah, he does that. But we're not on the clock. Doesn't sort of rigging to shoot. Which is hard to do drunk. <laughs> I'm not suggesting we get full on a hammer before we work. Why are you doing that? I'm thirsty. Also, you're cute when you're worked up. I don't okay. Cute? You think I'm cute? Hmm? Oh. Okay, running a little game got 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 her a little flustered. All right, sharing lip, that's a little too You're much. You're so clumsy. Yeah. What would Charlie say? Ugh, I know. Where'd it go? Uh... I'm sorry, yeah. I, I don't mean to break immersion by checking the bearings, but the bearings are supposed to tell you, like, how, what direction the story's going in, and the bearings keep changing even though I'm not making any decisions yet. It's uh, all the way against the wall. See it? I think I'm. I, I guess I'll just go with it. Then. I'll... You okay? <coughs> Shit! You trying to scare Ooh, me now? That's the poison. No. Yet. Revenge, cause good job. I'll I'll ignore the bearings from now on and then just play the game more organically. Okay, Aaron. Can you turn here? So Aaron has a special characteristic. Okay. Concerned. Are you okay? Since when did you have asthma? Since I was born. My meds are good. It's normally not a thing. I just need to be more careful of things like dust and pollen and getting the shit scared out of me. I'm an asshole. You didn't know. It's fine. Promise. You sure? Sure. I'm sure. So, uh... Yeah. Cozy. <laughs> okay, so we're still being watched. We're clearly still being watched. You gonna try And that? I think the green particles that were in the air, that was their way of showing and that it's now the... you're poisoned. It's not that bad. You're not lying? It's piquant. Decent vintage. Sure. I'm getting oaky undertones. A hint of citrus. And I want to say a strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat dots. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I hate you. You are such a liar. Uh, okay, let's get into it. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant the thinking you were cute thing. Really? Um, if my cheeks are red, it's from this wine. Not Kay. because I am bashful. I swear. Really. 
Sorry. Didn't mean to make you feel weird. I, uh, yeah, it's just, we work together and Charlie is always on me about being more professional and- I get it. No, I mean, I, I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. Er, er. Or that I don't think you're cute too. It's just, um. Yeah, make, she's making eye contact. Make your move. What? What are you doing? I, oh my god, I, uh... <laughs> I thought I was... Con wasn't I controlling Jamie? Oh, you bitch! <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I wanted to kiss you for months. I just was scared to make a real move. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Young love. Young love. Oh, oh, I just oh, broke... Sorry. I just broke the sorry. horror rules. That means one of them are gonna die first. I just broke the horror rules, yeah? Who is that? Can't have sex in a horror movie. I fell right into it. <sighs> I knew it was, I was gonna say, I bet you it's Charlie. Enjoying yourself out here like some sort of pervert? Sorry, did I uh, interrupt something here? No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. Yeah, yes. If this place is running on a generator, we need to know what it's putting out. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my room, and I need a fucking cigarette. <laughs> These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. Thank you. I've just been down there. Look, give me ten, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. Can't we plan after dinner? I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You've got 10 minutes. Okay, we'll be down in a few then. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. Is he trying to pull her away? <laughs> be continued then yes definitely i'm a, you gotta you gotta i'm gonna see where that goes Good luck finding gotta your see rooms. where that goes so those these two have a thing and then mark and i think her name's katie have a thing too and then charlie kind of seems a little too overprotective of aaron because even the way aaron was talking about him come on come on let's go did they just trap us here? Where the hell are they going? They just trapped us here. That's not concerning to you? He's supposed to be getting us dinner. That's terrifying. That's terrifying. Because what do you do? Break the mirror? Was that supposed to be, was that supposed to be Jamie because of the red hair? Well, I'm looking. Oh, Kate wanted you to have this. Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety. Are you fucking kidding me? I think she thought it might help with your stress or- Absolutely not. I'm not stressed, okay? Do I look fucking stressed? You sound stressed, uh. bro. That was rhetorical. Well, your cards came out nice enough. Oh, yeah. Embossing makes a huge difference. You old guys love business cards. <laughs> old school. You old school guys. I also put it on heavy stock and did the logo okay. in foil. 
So Aaron has her pump. He has a card that can open doors. I have to remember the characters have inventory now, so I think you actually have to go into the inventory. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. Look, stop tearing around in there like a maniac. Be organized about it. Methodical. That blue bag, front pocket. I made a specific mental note of it. They're gone, Charlie. Gone? Just like that? Are you saying somebody took them? I, I don't... Actually, I can see Kate doing that. Or Jamie. I'm sorry. It's fine. Let's just get on with things. Yeah, he's got to loosen up. Like This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient. You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically, it's not legal to smoke in bars, so... Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. Take, yeah, see, I can take that out at any time. So I feel like, as much as I'm not a fan of this whole walking around it's thing, cap. exactly the same. Well, it suits me. What's weird about that? As much as it bothers me with this whole walking and even like the jogging mechanic thing, clearly there's a lot of details in exploring. From the best-selling author of The Shroud of Innocence comes a thrilling reimagining of one of history's most merciless massacres. Kill them all. God will recognize his own. July 22, 2009, and just one day in the peaceful city of Bizzers. Wait, is this House of Ashes? Hold on. Tyrant Crusader Simon... No, is it? De Montfort is determined to purge the city of all the practicing Cathars by the most horrific means necessary. Wait, what's the name of this book? Yellow Cross, T.S. Hartley. Deep in the church of St. Mary's Hidden Caverns, a last remaining group of Cathar are hidden away, but can't, da 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 Catholic priests. Hmm, I wonder how this ties in. I wonder if it's even like relevant to the story, but. For a second, it sounded like House of Ashes, how the beginning was. Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Atta girl. Hello? Mr. Dumet? Okay, so that's a potential death. Morning to you all. I'm Chester Bell, Assistant Director at the Federal Bureau of Investigation. At approximately 0530 local time, a team led by Special Agent Hector Monday and supported by law enforcement officers conducted a raid of a motel room just outside Birmingham, Alabama to apprehend Manny Sherman, the man known as the Beast of Arkansas. Using state-of-the-art psychological profiling techniques, Special Agent Monday and members of his task force not only identified their suspect, but predicted his movement with unerring accuracy. I'm delighted to say we have our man. Is there, are some of these based off of true stories? This seems like something that might have really happened. The Beast of Arkansas? Pretty sure if you look that up, that's a real thing. Wow. An animatronic. Ha! That's what amazing. What will it be, Mr. Dumet, sir? <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. 
A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello? Hello? A packet of smokes. I figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Bowman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. <laughs> oh. No fucking way. Thank you very much, my mechanical friend. Much appreciated. Uh, that's why he has the lighter. Okay, makes sense. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh. Of course it wants exact change. Damn it! And what a coincidence that there's only one left in there. Robots are not gonna be happy. He's like, bro, you finna, you trying to rob me, bro? Okay, so that's, I forgot, that's his ability. Next round's on me. Promise. Yes! Come to daddy. I, I don't know if any of you guys out there smoke cigarettes. Is it really that serious? Like, Oi. I'm glad that's one habit Oi. I never picked up. No, we ain't gonna do that. We ain't gonna do that. Life would be so much easier with that in my jacket pocket. Just get more change and run it again. Oh, he took out all the change. you lord ha! he finna press me for robbing him what no come on you piece of shit don't do this to me he finna press me for robbing him <clears throat> antique rubbish give them to me give me my cigarettes Right. That's it. I'm gonna go and get my key grip, and they are gonna kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah, I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? So he's just not going to answer her? I think someone was controlling it. Hey, I had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah, if we get it shot in the back, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. No, there's no way yeah. they were dating. Like, she okay, looks sure. like she's like 37, bro, and he looks like he's what? 21. Nothing. Just give me a sec, and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. The job wasn't the right move. The train thing confirmed it. Flimsy. 
I don't buy it. You don't have to buy it. Come on, let's just shoot this. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have starlight? Yeah, I don't remember. I just want to look decent. We can get Jamie to set up some lights. No, I don't want to wait around. I want to shoot something before dinner, otherwise Charlie is going to be in my face all evening. And to be honest, I'm at capacity with Jamie. I get it. Mark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish, or both. So is Jamie and Mark like really close friends or something? We're hitting the golden hour. We should be able to find a good spot. <laughs> I don't know why you camera dorks call it that. It's 15 minutes at best. Yes and no, if you have the right reflector. 15 minutes at the most. <laughs> Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> I always will say this is this has Where been to? a lot slower uh, than I thought it would be so far. The balcony would make for cool Even angle. The prelude was Let's find slow. a way up there. How's the new place? It'll do for now. You like it? It's just a place to keep my shit and crash. Short term lease, so I can take Mark's my time to find something I really like. That's hmm, smart plan. Oh, really, bro? He said I needed to be out, so I got out. I was complimenting you. Yeah, no, just saying. I was worried you'd be sleeping on the couch in the studio while you obsessed over finding the perfect place with the right wall color near the proper train station or bus stop or... Maybe we should just add this topic to our discussion no-fly zone list. Yeah, you're probably right. Whoa, there, bucko. I was just checking for light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. Sometimes Damn, bro. I'm glad like... we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird ass rules. How long were they together? So since we can't do it oh, tomorrow, oh, was the ring on her next finger? Was that? Okay to come and get my stuff. Did she have a ring? I don't even know, yeah. I don't even know. Honestly, at this point, I'm just trying to stay awake. <laughs> So if Dumet catches us in here. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of me. Yeah, I feel like Dumet is the kind of dude who loses his shit if you break his rules. Oh, what was your first clue when he took away our phones like we were kind of teenagers? Huh. Guess we're not totally alone. That's not, that's not weird at all to anyone. We're all just gonna, I don't know, whatever. Jamie's the only one that knows Duet left us. I feel like Duet traded us. So whoever actually owns this place and lives here, Duet arranged a trade to get his daughter back. Hi. My vertigo is saying otherwise. What are you worried about, Miss? Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. Okay. Check this out. It's his hat. Who? H. H. Holmes. Now, why are you gonna go and touch that? That demonic hat. <laughs> oh! Fuck. You okay? No. I'd even try and I touch just, it. This fucking thing popped out of nowhere. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> See? W what is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. <sighs> it can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. Hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on, let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. So we just did all of that for no reason? Hey, be civil with Charlie. Is it because I took too long? Be civil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. I know Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Did you see his notes? Yeah, I saw them. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? That's how directors have to be. It's their job. They have a vision. Ego has to play into it a little bit. That's why I just shut up and point the camera. That doesn't mean he has to be an asshole. No, but imagine if you were in his shoes, 40 something, still waiting for your big break. Kate, this show is the closest he'll ever have to success. I guess. Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lana at Entertainment. They're trying to build this relationship up, but I, I need to you. know why they that's, broke up before I get invested in it. That's definitely the right call for where your career is going. That sounded very sincere. Because it is. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. What a stunning performance. You should give up news and be an actress. I was quite moved by all that. Fucking Oscar worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. Whatever your future plans may be, right now, you work for Lonnet Entertainment. And Lonnet Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonnet employees are professionals, yes? So start acting like it. Charlie's a prick. I mean, he's Great. the only one out of have all of us that's not a professional. Future, like, now I don't. they're not, they're, they're that stupid for having the conversation child. over the balcony to the to entire level. building. And then Charlie, I knew how he was going to react. So, all right, we get it. We know who everybody is now. Like, the host is long gone, bro. This is your real host, the driver. Is that supposed to be him sewing? Hey guys. Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just poor Mark. Where is Jamie? Let's all just relax. We just sat down. Is she at the table? Because she moment. saw him leave. Who's the host? I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Ah, oh, Mr. Dumet. I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet? Yeah, back to an income. Wait, what? Why? He saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? It can't be. You must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. Okay, things are finally starting to pick up, hopefully. They're in a big-ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. 
I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lonnet plan comes together. What's our next step, boss? Swim for shore? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? That's something he would say is stop questioning my judgment. I'm sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the dock is as far as they deliver. This could work to our advantage. How? Well, think about it. We're still here, surrounded by perfect visuals. The plan is still on track. There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leap to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet? As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm starting to side with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Lower your voices. Why? He's not here. But that doesn't explain why he stitched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you? You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Oh, oh God, Shit. Jamie. It's not you funny, but to make this worse. You're not I think helping. We all know that's okay, where this is fine. going. Okay, fine. Just. Don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. Guess you never found your cigarettes. The bitch of it is, I did find a machine, but just like everything else in this fucking place, it's ancient and broken. So what are we doing? We just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? The plan? In true Lon and entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us, and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. Golly. <laughs> well, here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. They are just shitting on him. All right, enough. I'd like to propose a toast. It seems as if this may well be our last supper as a team, given how you've all been acting. Me and my apostles. <laughs> Just wait, give me a moment. I can't decide who the Judas is. Ooh. I've got so many options. And of course, you're the martyr. You're going to find out very soon that you won't get very far without being a team player, Kate. Enough, Sunday Stir the pot. Charlie, Stir the pot. what's your problem now? What you know, you don't do? always have to get what a word in, Jamie. You do your and best work when you're silent. Trust me. Come on, Charlie. You want us to rally behind you. Stop treating us like crap. I might as well. Let's let's stir let's stir Are the pot. Me? Let's start a pot. You were the best damn DP I've ever worked with until Kate got into your head and made you insecure and neurotic. Uh, turn up. Turn That's up. Not... You think you're too good for this, don't you? You think you're an artist? Fine. Go take some pretty pictures and see if that pays the bills. He's ethering all of them right now. You can blame my mood on Erin. She lost my smokes. Cheers, everyone. I mean, she they were laying up. into him. He kind of, he kind of had to come. They all kind of had to come. But in. she knows exactly what she's doing. Oh. Uh, then where are they, Jamie? Did you check up your ass? <sighs> mm. Oh, fuck off, Charlie. You're the director. You're not God. You're not the king. We're not your royal subjects that must kiss your ass and cater to your whims. Kate. No, he needs to hear this. He doesn't give a single shit about our feelings, our careers, our needs. Fuck him. Fuck you. Yeah. Ah! Oh, this is just priceless. Of course you're enjoying this. Enjoying watching Charlie lose all control of his precious plan? Yeah, maybe a little. Enough, Jamie. Dude, you've lost the right to tell us what to do. Look at where we are. This is my company, so we follow my plan. You can't. The plan has not changed, okay? We're here to shoot, and that is exactly what we're gonna do. Okay, cool. 
You're in control. So where did Demet go? We can shoot without him. We've all seen the place. Without a single word from Dumet, I have half a dozen setups we can roll on. So let's just do that. Then you're all free to bugger off in whatever manner you choose. Okay? Okay, so two hours into the game. Two hours into the game. This we're finally nice. into some mix. This we're finally getting into the Dumet dark picture as part of this and game. And you're nuts to act like everything This is, is what normal, dark pictures Charles. does. They get the pot. They, they know hey. how to stir the pot. Yeah. You want to follow Kate around like a lost dog, or should we start planning what gear to pull? There's good light in the lobby, minimal setup time. We can be good to go in 15. Then let's do it. There we go. Let's start a pot a little bit. At the very least, get some emotions your sets going. were the most entertaining I've ever been on. You've always got something to say, haven't you? Yes. It's my superpower. <laughs> Mark is right. Light in there is good. Just need to set up a couple fills. Won't take long. Grand. So this one's obviously Charlie. They even took the spare hat. Oh, so he took the smokes. Okay. I knew, I knew, I, I figured he took the cigarettes, whoever this guy is, is. I thought she was picking up a gun for a second. I was about to say instantly my favorite character. Oh, this is hot. This is fire. This feels like a horror, an indie horror. I think that was meant to lead us to that. The dope thing about her ability is she can hear through the walls. I don't know if that's good or terrifying. see Aaron go out like that.
Hold on, did the room change? The room just changed, you guys. I came from here. This wall was not here before. These walls were not here before. And the first time we came to the, down this hallway, there was a wall right here. Okay, so the hotel, okay, that's kind of fire. The hotel changes. I mean, we saw it in the prelude, but I didn't think it was to this extent. See, this wasn't here before. Oh, this is cool. This is kind of cool, y'all. Yeah. That's right, girl. Sing that song because this ain't right. Somebody. Oh. Oh nah. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. No 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 no. No. Okay. Okay. This is what we've been waiting for. This is what we've been waiting for. Damn it. Breakers. Mr. Demet? Girl, you know he is not here. Lady looks 10 years long younger, but how that's what Kate needs. Kate looked like she she 40 going on 60. Jesse Maxwell, who is Jesse Maxwell? So it was it was right there the whole time. Oh, thank God. Something from this century. Let's do this again.
I knew it. I knew something creepy was going to start happening in here. And heavy rainfall are expected by 10 p.m. Central Time. Repeat, this is a severe weather storm warning for the Greater Lakes area. High winds and heavy rainfall are... As if things weren't bad enough, right? I was like, smarter. please get me out of there. I did not yeah, want to yeah. know what concert was going on in there. Where the hell is everyone? It's a two-person job to pull Kate away from her mirror. <sighs> hey, sorry if I stirred shit up at dinner. I didn't mean for it all to end up on you. Don't worry, I get it. I'm the boss. Angst rolls uphill. Forget about it. Cool, thanks. What the hell? Breathing, do the breathing. Just try to stay calm. Count your breath. One, two, three, in. One, two, three, out. We need to break through this thing. Guys, I, I, I can't. Don't look for something to knock the door down. Me and Mark can't force it open. Oh, and she can't see. Let me do something. Oh no. Who's there? Oh no. I, I, guys, guys, somebody is in here with, with me. Oh God. This is the premonition we saw. <laughs> Are you serious? On a 50-50, bro? Okay. Okay, good, good. If we would have attacked him, he would have killed us. That was a fifth. That was a dice roll right there. That was a 50 50. That was a 50. That was a 50 50. My, my glasses, my inhaler. Get your phone on, girl. Why would you put it away knowing I need to take it back out? Okay. Easy, easy. In and out. You're okay now. You're safe. What? Did you see him? Come on. <laughs> he, That's why they was, put that in there. Somebody was right there. In there with me. Aaron, it's just a dummy. Yeah, that's why no, they put that in No, it was not there. a dummy. He, he had a hat on, like H.H. H. Holmes. Charles, you're working her to death. Now she's hallucinating shit from the show? 
I did not. Nothing bad happened, Erin. You're okay. No one is in there. Let's all just calm down, get Erin back to her room for a rest. I'm not fucking tired. Let's go. Come on, Erin. Why does it always feel like somebody's watching me? Finally, we're back to the curator. It's been a while. My boy. Are we? Yes, there he is. Ah. There you are. Ugh. I think Erin's shown signs of serious pluck, wouldn't you say? Now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Dumet? Apparently, he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Maybe if he had, things wouldn't have become so uncomfortable. Charlie certainly lost his cool, and if a team can't work together, they are unlikely to succeed. I can only observe, and it can be frustrating to watch. In some ways, I envy you. I only record events. You get to shape them. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. What about the coins? Was that with his way of saying there's a possibility that Mr. Duet could have still been there with us? Maybe if we would have got caught? Or maybe if the maybe if the guy in the trench coat would have seen us, like I thought he saw us, he wouldn't have gave Mr. Duet his daughter back and Duet would have still been there. Sounds like they're trying... Okay, so there is some replay... Obviously, it's a decision-based game. So there is some replay value. So I'm going to end this one here. We're probably only going to... This is probably going to be like two or three episodes, guys. They're going to be very long videos. This is like a six to eight hour game. And it looks like a lot of it is just the walking around. I'm going to do my best to crop that down during this episode. Um, but once again, if you did watch this one, if you are enjoying this series, I still think this is this game has a lot of potential. It was slower than I would have liked it to be in the beginning for a Dark Pictures game, especially with how Little Hope, House of Ashes, and Man of Madon, Man of Madon kicked off. But once they got to the dinner table, it, it ramped up. And I feel like we're going to get this for the rest of the game, which is really exciting. So um, if you're enjoying this, make sure you slap the like button, turn your notifications on so you know I'm going live. I'm going to be doing a live series while this is going on. Um, and plus you want to know when I'm posting the next video, but until the next one, I appreciate you guys and I will see you soon. Peace.